That's the only way. We gotta shoot for holiness. My name is Brother Simon. I'm a Franciscan brother um, now for 17 years. I live here in the South Bronx, and I was born into a loving Catholic family. My parents had like kind of a family motto was roots and wings. Roots in the faith, roots in education, and then wings to fly. So that was their, their goal. Have us take responsibility for things, but then also to use our gifts and talents. So I was in high school and I didn't have my driver's license yet, but I'd bike up to church for the, the charismatic life and the spirit prayer meetings. I just saw like 200 people gathered in prayer. They were experiencing the Lord in a powerful way. So in high school, all those dynamics were filling my life. There was a college I found in North Carolina that offered a camping major, like teaching people to camp. And so initially that's where I was going to go to college. That summer I was working at a Christian camp. There was a group of counselors who all went to Steubenville and each evening they were praying the rosary. Praying the rosary with them and then doing all these fun adventures during the day, that was the transition that kind of happened because I really think that the Blessed Mother was saying, you're not going to be happy camping the rest of your life. So I canceled the one school in North Carolina and within a week I was on a plane to Austria to study at Franciscan University and that was the semester that really deepened and transformed my life because I got to go to Rome and it was like wow this is what it means to be Roman Catholic and then I got to go to Assisi and that's where I met Francis. The journey was beginning through small acts of faith and yes is along the way. There's a desire in all of us to be fulfilled, that deep desire to have meaning in our lives. And it's true as a Franciscan religious brother as well. I was in Jerusalem and I was at the tomb of the resurrection and I really sensed that the Lord was inviting me to be a brother. There's that sense of trust that we have to have in Jesus. That Jesus says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. And so more and more when I can just realize that it's, that Jesus is at work. It's difficult in our culture in the sense of evangelization, how to bring the gospel. It's difficult as well when you're face to face with the men at the homeless shelter or those in our neighborhood who seem like they have hopeless situations. I'm not one who knows the big picture, but I love giving people the opportunity to use their gifts and talents. Wearing the habit opens up this door, you could say, to people's hearts and lives instantaneously. I'll stop a skateboarder on the road, we'll talk about something, and then I'll lay down on the road and he'll do a skateboard trick over me. Even if we don't have something to give them, just to stop for a minute and say a prayer with someone. You know, just acknowledging you know, that they're there and that they're important.